वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टू द वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ सोशल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड नाइन दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी सॉ अबाउट द आजाद इन फौज दैट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज एंड डेवलप बाय सुभाष चंद्र बोस वी ऑल्सो सॉ अबाउट द फेलियर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन स्ट्रगलिंग ओके then harmful activities during quit india movement strikes during quit india movement and quit india movement mainly today we are going to see further we are going to study about azad in fauj and indian independence league after breaking the tight british security subhash chandra bose cleverly reached japan from berlin in a submarine see from germany he traveled into a submarine and reached japan now japan you need to remember i had already explained japan and germany were friends as they were fighting on one side in the second world war you need to remember that this was a time when the second world war was going on japan and germany were in the one group and that's why to get more help hitler sent uh subhash chandra bose from berlin to japan Moreover, Rasbiari Bose of Indian Independence League invited Subhash Chandra Bose to be the head of this league. Japan would provide every help to the for the Indian independent freedom. It was promised that as per Japan army advance toward India, capturing Indian province, provincial government would be formed. Okay, temporary governments would be formed at that place, and Japan would given them recognition. Japan would give recognition to these governments, which were almost headed by the Azadian Fauj. On second July. 1943 Subhash Chandra Bose went to Singapore from Japan and there he was elected the president of Indian Independence League on July 9 July 4 1943 Raj Bihari Bose voluntarily retired as the head of Indian National Army that is Azad Hind Fauj and appointed Subhash Chandra Bose as the head of INA Indian residing there who was staying there got a proper and able leader for freeing their freedom motherland since then subhash chandra bose was the called netaji this was the time when he got this particular name that is netaji in his speech and on radio he gave the slogan chalo delhi let's march to delhi because delhi was the capital of india and tum mujhe khoon do main tumhe azadi dunga this was the slogans given by subhash chandra bose with the skillful guidance he formed the parallel government he almost run a parallel government to the britishers he tried to convince and urge the indian residing in southeast asia to sacrifice everything for the freedom struggle of india okay he not only ran a government but he also convinced all the indians who were living in southeast asia and convinced them to give away all the things that they had for the freedom struggle of their motherland now he established a provincial government in by the subhash chandra bose subhash chandra bose form provisional indian government and became the prime minister of it he allotted provisional means temporary you can say provisional means temporary he allotted other departments to companions and formed a cabinet the government was recognized by many countries like japan germany italy nationalist china and burma these were the countries which were against the britishers in the second world war the government recognized hindi as the national language and tricolor as the national flag it was decided that income by assisting japan independence role and by property tax netaji visited gandhi ji anbar nikobar and islands and named it shahid that is martyr and swaraj okay this islands were named shahid and swaraj by subhash chandra bose okay in that time to pay a tribute to this particular act of gandhi ji recently in december 2018 our prime minister shri narendra modi when he visited andaman nicobar islands he named three islands okay he changed the name here one of the island that was known as ross island was renamed as Subhash Chandra Bose 
Bose Island. Okay. While another island that was named Neil previously was termed as the Shahid Island. Was termed as the Shahid Island. While another island called Havelock was termed as Swaraj Island. Okay. So this way, uh, this way, the tribute to the act done by Subhash Chandra Bose was also given by Sri Narendra Modi in December 18th. Now the last step in martyrdom of Subhash Babu means how did he became a martyr? Okay. In May 1944, under the leadership of Netaji, his military units captured Rangoon, Proma, Kohima, and presently the capital Nagaland. Then it marched towards Imphal, now the capital of Manipur. Okay. But after dropping two atom bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima in Japan, that happened in 1945. The financial assistance of provisional government stopped. Okay, Japan was surrendered. Japan surrendered, and that's why the financial, the money which was coming from Japan stopped. British aircraft started warfare against Azadin Forge. Okay, they started warfare against the Azadin Forge, and so the condition became critical. On August 18, 1945, he started from Taipei Airport of Formosa. Okay, he wanted to go away. He did not want to come into the hands of the Britishers. And that's why he was traveling from Taipei Airport for Masa, from Tokyo. But his plane caught fire and got serious burns. And while undergoing treatment, it died. Now comes the critical part. The mystery of his death has remained unsolved till today. Now, whether he died, whether he escaped, he's still alive is a mystery that is still not known. And many people considered that Subhash Chandra Bose actually was alive in this particular event and he resided into India even after independence right, as Gumnami Baba but that is again a very very controversial and not proven topic okay? next is achieving independence and partition of India the commanders of Indian National Army were arrested as prisoners of war and were accused of treason. Treason is doing act against the country, Gaddari. And put on trial. Balu Bhai Desai and Jawaharlal Nehru were pleading this case. They were the advocates. The whole country took keen interest in this case. When the British government inflicted them with punishment, there was a protest against them in the entire country. So, going to populist opinion, the government had to withdraw the punishment. Okay, As people opposed it, the government took back the punishment this event and the naval mutiny of bombay 1946 thought the britisher realized that rule in india will no longer be tenable so that's why they decided to end up their rule on february 20 1947 atlee clement atlee became the prime minister of britain and he announced that the british government shall give all the powers of government of Indian as per the cabinet mission formula and shall quit India by June 1948. So Clement Attlee who became the press, uh, Prime Minister in 1947 gave this particular verdict. Thus it changed the situation and due to this the change, situation changed. Mountbatten was appointed as Viceroy. See, now Mountbatten came as Viceroy in, for, in place of Lord Wevel. When he took charge of the post, communal rights had started in India. When he came to India, there were communal rights going on in India because there was also a demand of second nation from India, that was Pakistan. So there was communal right. The condition of India had become pathetic. In July 1947, the Congress secured 201 seats out of 210 and Muslim League secured 73 seats out of 78 from the province of India for the prioration of formation of constitution assembly okay so the elections which were held for the constitution assembly congress won the seats major seats in areas which were dominated by hindus while muslim league won major seats which were dominated by the muslims the league pressurized the government for pakistan say the league pressurized the government for pakistan on 16th august 1947 so Terrible communal rights and turmoil 
spread all over India. So there were communal riots and tumult spread all over India. Looking at this situation, Sardar Patel, Jawaharlal Nehru and other Congress leaders felt that there was no alternative except the demand of Muslim League and form the Pakistan. Okay, so that's why they said that if we will not form Pakistan, this communal riot will continue. Because Muslim League and Jinnah insisted of separate Pakistan, right? the Muslim League boycotted the first cabinet meeting on 9th December 1946. The Muslim League executive held on January 31st 1947 decided to boycott the cabinet meeting and gave a rapid and extensive program for the demand of Pakistan. They said that we will not take anything less than Pakistan, the, the separate nation. Mountbatten convinced Nehru and Sardar Patel who understood the matter having a well-organized, he said what there was the argument, he said that having a well-organized central government, having administrative units under the center shall be more peaceful and progressive instead of weak central government consisting of many autonomous and opposite constituents. He said that it is better to have a country where the central government is supported by the states instead of having a central government which is not supported by a states or the independent bodies. The national leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru and Sardar Patel understood it. National leaders found this argument acceptable. Sardar Patel and Nehru discussed this matter with Gandhiji who was helpfully accepting rearrangement. Okay, he did not like it but he had to accept it. Next comes the Mountbatten plan. Mountbatten plan 1947 in the partition of India on March 12 Viceroy Mountbatten presented this scheme according to him there was no alternative other than partition he said that partition is the only alternative national prolific leaders like Sardar Patel understood the matter and after discussion and pondering finally on July 3rd 1947 Viceroy Mountbatten decided to plan the partition of India okay in this you can see this particular photograph Viceroy Mountbatten is there, Muhammad Ali Jinnah is there and other leaders of India were also there for discussion of the partition. This plan is known as Mountbatten plan. Okay, This plan was known as Mountbatten plan. The Congress leaders and Muslim League accepted this plan. When Mountbatten started getting implemented, the people of East Bengal and Silat province of Assam decided to join East Pakistan. West Bengal and East Bengal were affiliated with India as per the decision of the assembly. West Punjab joined Pakistan. It was decided to affiliate North Province, Sindh and Baluchistan with Pakistan. So this way there was a division of India with the reference to the uh, affiliation done. Okay. Now the Indian Independence Act 1947. The British Parliament passed the Indian Independence Act according to Mountbatten plan. According to this, Indian first Governor General was Mountbatten and Jawab Janab Jinnah was the Governor General of Pakistan. By this act, Indian independence from British K rule came to India. So with this, the Britishers rule in India came to an end. Therefore, Gandhiji considered this act as the one and the only best and the benefit act of the Britishers in India. He said that this is the best act or the best decision taken by Britishers. The last Viceroy of British government organized a function in New Delhi at the midnight of August 914. The Union Jack, that is the flag of England, was brought down and the pole of national flag, tricolor, was hoisted. The documents attributing the independence to India was handed over to Mountbatten to C. Raj Gopalachari, who was the First Governor General of Independent India. Entire atmosphere was full of excitement. Entire process of transfer of power was completed. August 1947. August 15, 1947 was an excellent dawn for India. All the celebrate the first independent festival very pleasantly and cheerfully in the entire country. Every where people hung Torrents, see people celebrated it with full flame because after almost 250 years India was now a free nation. Good omen on doors, sweets were distributed like as if it was a festival. Many people who took woe, okay, 
felt relieved who had taken some manta who means manta okay fulfilled but gandhi ji was shocked due to the partition of india and therefore he deeply plunged into grief and drifted meditation gandhi ji did not like it why because he did not wanted a partition and that's why he took monrath and he went into meditation india becoming independent and immediate problems of it so after independence also there were certain problems occurring into india that we are going to see here india becoming independent and immediate problems india and pakistan two separate independent nations came into existence as a result of mountbatten plan so two nations right india and pakistan came into existence the resolution of the following problems had to be found first reorganization of military forces dispute over assets and properties how the properties were to be distributed how the military force was to be distributed debts and credits the money that was to be given the money that was to be taken who will decide that problems related to settlement of refugees those people who came from pakistan to india and those people who traveled from india to pakistan how to settle them public services and arrangement of civil servants and administrative staff how to arrange the people who are working for the government and most importantly demarcation of international boundaries and eastern western side was to be fixed so this were some of the problems that came up in front of india as soon as independence was given to india a five member committee consisting of two representatives of india and two representative of pakistan was formed under the chairmanship of lord mountbatten two from india and two from pakistan so that makes four and one was Mount lord mountbatten that was five so five member committee was formed the committee appointed different commissions under this committee different commissions were appointed in the expert okay of relevant subjects in the case of any difference of opinion both the nation admit to accept the final decision given by the arbitrator now under each committee there were equal numbers of members from india and equal number of members from pakistan and there was one arbitrator a type of a referee or a middleman who was a britisher he would decide when there was a dispute when there was a problem and his prob- his decision was to be considered final say consisting of one representative of india and one of pakistan under the chairmanship of former chief justice of india military commander general of india compiled the partition of army and uh, military weapons okay the british army left india by february 28 1948 all officers and employees of administration military ju- judiciary were given opportunity to choose whether they would serve india or pakistan see all the government servants were given the opportunity if they want to go for pakistan or india they were given assurance about their pay along security of the service and pension they were say that their pension salaries and everything will be continued and there will be no discriminations against them in spite of choosing any of the nations a large number of refugees okay refugees are basically people who have left their country to go and settle in other country from both the countries migrated leaving their houses and property there india solved the tremendous problem of this rehabilitation and restoration very skillfully and patiently then the deputy prime minister and the home minister sardar patel merged the 562 small and big princely states see this was a task this was a huge task done by sardar patel that was merging up of 562 small and big princely states into union of india and that was done by the deputy prime minister and home minister of india at that time that was sardar vallabhbhai patel in india into union india Okay, Sada Patel strongly determination, iron will, and diplomatic negotiation solve this problem. Due to this skills of Sada Patel only, it was India today what it is. Otherwise, India would have still be a group of small and large princely states. Yet the long term planning to find a solution of problems like effects of communal riot due to partition. the shock of mahatma gandhi's death gandhi ji was killed assassinated on 30th january 1948 right to make independent india self reliant with the help of good governance the weak condition of indian agriculture to create an atmosphere of peaceful and tranquility in the country the internal external security of the country became necessary so still some of the problems were also existing in spite of solving major of them 
so with this we complete our chapter number five hope you have understood it go through all the topics read the textbook thoroughly and understand it go through each of the video lectures for better understanding